Now to access or get to any address on the MSI, we simply enter that address in binary and press examine. The current value of the address bus is not the switches, but rather whatever the address bus lights say. But when I set a value like address 3 and then press examine, you'll see the address bus jumps to 3, and this is the value that's currently stored at 3. Now let's enter something. Let's go to address 0, and we're going to put 0 by leaving all of these down. So now we're examining the contents of address 0. When I press deposit, it's going to take these 8 bits and deposit them in the current memory location. So when I do that, these bits should clear. And they do. And if I set the bottom 4 bits on, and I pressed deposit, you'll see the bottom 4 bits are now on. So to enter my program, all I'm going to have to do is set the toggles, starting at address 0, press deposit, and then, for each subsequent one, deposit next, because that pre-increments the counter of what address you're pointing at, and it will store each of the bytes that I give it in memory. Let's start with the first byte. 0, 0. I'm going to say deposit at address 0. Next, I'm going to move on to the next byte. But before I do anything else, I'm going to key in that byte, which is all zeros but a 1, and I'll say deposit next. Then move on. Should be all 20 bytes deposited. Now if I set my address bits back to zeros as they are and I press examine, I should see the bit pattern here. I'm going to step through them really quickly to check my work. Looks right to me so far. So going back to address zero, I'll press examine and if I hit run, my program should execute. You can see the LED pattern stepping across the programmed output, which is the value we set when we do an out FF. And so it's displaying the contents of the accumulator, rotating it left, and then pausing it for a little bit so we actually get a delay and can see the step visually.